Hello and welcome to today's free yoga practice. Um, today's yoga practice is all about beginners. Um, I'm going to be breaking down the poses. I'm going to do some of the sun meditations a little bit slower with a little bit of a twist as well. Um, so no matter if you're a beginner, if you've done yoga many times before, this is a nice practice just to step back a moment um, and just, really just reconnect to yourself again and just reconnect to your practice. So let's get started then. Um, starting off in a seated position, so whatever is comfortable for you, it can be cross-legged, one foot in front of the other, kneeling down. Um, if you're having problems with your knees, you will, you know, maybe stretching your legs out, whatever feels comfortable for you. Just making sure that you're really grounding through your sitting bones. And bring your head over your heart and your heart over your pelvis, sitting nice and tall. And just imagine there's a string just the top of your head that's just pulling you upwards. So sitting nice and tall. Bring your shoulders up to your ears and then releasing them back down. Placing your hands onto your knees, thighs, legs, feet, wherever feels comfortable. And then from here, just closing your eyes. And taking a few deep breaths and slow exhales. Just arriving on the mat today. And then imagine that with every inhale, you're growing a little bit taller. And with every exhale, you're just grounding down a little bit further into the mat. Just keep going with that visualization, growing taller and grounding down. And then once you've been here for a few breaths, maybe start engaging through your core, supporting your navel in and up and then keeping that navel engaged. Come back to your breath. Good, just a couple more breaths here. Good, then keeping your eyes closed, inhaling both arms over your head, really stretching through your right side body. Bring your shoulders down and bring the palms together over your head. Making sure you're not leaning backwards or forwards. Keep your head in line with your heart, heart in line with your pelvis. And then on your next exhale, bring your hands through the midline down again. Good, a couple more times. Inhaling your arms over your head, really stretching. And then on your exhale, keeping the length in the side body, bring your hands through the midline down again. Good, one last time, inhaling up all the way, really stretching towards the ceiling. Bring the palms together and then on your exhale, bring your hands through the midline down again. And releasing your hands all the way down again, onto your knees, thighs, releasing them down and gently blinking your eyes open. So keeping the length in the side body, so keeping the length throughout the whole practice so that we're not sinking down, really shoulders away, just bring your shoulders really nice and back. Good, then bring your right hand next to you onto the mat, inhale your left arm up and over for side body stretch. So you can start off with your fingertips on the mat and then come onto your palms whilst you're going into the side stretch. So in the side stretch, just making sure that your right side is not actually collapsing. So keeping the length in both side bodies. And then just coming over, really feeling stretch through the left side of your body. And then also making sure that you're not collapsing here. So pushing your chest out and really opening your heart up to the ceiling a little bit. And with your neck, just do whatever feels comfortable. 
can look forward, can look up to the ceiling, maybe up to your right hand, left hand, or you can look down onto your right hand. Just see whatever feels best for you here. Just make sure that you keep grounding through both sitting bones. Good, and on your exhale, slowly coming back up, dropping that left hand down, and then inhaling your right arm up and over. Again, making sure that both side bodies are nice and long, shoulders away from your ears, and you can be with your left hand on your fingertips or on your palm, really stretching that right arm to the side, and opening your heart up. Again, making sure you're grounding through both sitting bones here. Good. Once, if you notice that one of your sitting bones is coming up, just come up a little bit. I'd rather you be here really stretching than be sort of over here and coming up. So, good. Just one more breath. And on your exhale, slowly coming back up to centre, dropping that right hand down. Good. Then from here, bring that right hand onto your left knee, left hand behind you to support you. And then just pulling your navel in and up again. So you're really engaging through your core. And then inhale, opening up, pushing your chest out. Exhale, looking over your left shoulder. Sitting nice and tall and then engaging through your core will help you here. So making sure with your hands that you're not using your hands actually to pull yourself around. Just have them there as a little guide. So technically if you Pick up your hands and stay where you are. And this is where it's important, just to engage through your core. Give it shoulders away from your ears. Try not to grip through your legs, toes at all. Softening through your face. Just one more breath. Good, and on your exhale, slowly release back to center. Good, then from here, placing your left hand onto your right knee, right hand behind you. Again, engaging through your core, so pulling it in and up. And then inhale, opening through the front of your body, pushing your chest out, sitting nice and tall. And then on your exhale, looking over your right shoulder. Again, let the twist come from your core, so you're not actually using your hands very much. They're just there just to get you. Maybe closing your eyes. Good, just a few more breaths here. Good, and then on your exhale, slowly release it back up to center. Good, then switching the cross off your legs. So if you're sitting cross-legged, if you're kneeling down, just stay where you are. If you have one foot in front of the other, cross-legged, maybe half lotus, just switch it over. Keep things nice and even. Good, then bringing both hands behind your back and just open up through the front of your body again. Good, again, engaging through your core. You're gonna hear a lot from you today. So pulling your navel in and up. And then depending where you are, you can stay here or bring your hands in front of you. Keep pushing your chest out so that your back keeps nice and straight. And from here, if you want, you can start walking your hands away. Just tiptoeing your hands away, maybe on your palms or on your fingertips, wherever you are. Just going as far as it feels comfortable with a straight back. Keeping your neck in line with your spine. Good. Just one more breath here. And then on your exhale, slowly walk your hands back up. If you have your hands behind you, just bring them back in front of you. Good, and we're gonna come on to all fours. So making sure your knees are directly underneath your hips, and then your wrists are either directly underneath your shoulders or slightly in front of it, whatever feels more comfortable. And putting the top of the feet into the mat, and then spreading your fingertips nice and really pushing the mat away. So making sure you're not sinking into the space in between your shoulder blades. Really pushing that up. So bring your heart center up to the ceiling. 
your spine and your neck is nice and long. And then on your inhale, all you're doing is dropping your belly, looking forward, and then really feeling the stretch through the front of your body. And then on your exhale, rounding through the spine, really pushing the mat away. Good, again a few more times. Inhale, dropping your belly, looking forward. Good, and then on your exhale, rounding through the spine, bring your chin to your chest. Okay, one last time, inhale, dropping your belly, looking forward. And exhale, rounding through the spine, really pushing the mat away here. Good, inhale, coming back to neutral spine, long neck. And walking your hands slightly further forward, tuck your toes under, and then pushing your hips up to the ceiling into your downward facing dog. So from here, just make sure that your feet are hip distance apart. Your heels don't have to touch the floor, so don't worry about where your heels are. Make sure that you're grounding through your hands, shoulders away from your ears, and really just put, push your hips up as far as you can possibly can to the ceiling. So keep them nice and high. So you always have like a triangle here. Good, so from here you can maybe pedal through the feet, maybe moving your hips from side to side, anything that feels good here. Or you can just stand still, just grounding into the mat. Good, and on your next exhale, slowly walking to the top of the mat, folding over your legs. So keep folding over. Bring your feet at least, no not at least, bring your feet hip distance apart and then bend your knees at least a little bit. So you can bend through your knees quite a lot here. And then grab hold of the opposite elbow, just hang over your legs here. Let gravity do its thing, making sure that there's no tension in your legs. Maybe shake your head yes and no. Rocking from side to side. Just doing anything again, just whatever feels good here for you and your body. Just for a few more breaths. Good, and on your exhale, releasing your hands towards the mat. And then very slowly, just coming up to a standing position. Just taking your time. And then once you're up here, just taking a moment just to let your blood flow back down again. Making sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Maybe opening your palms up to the front of the mat. Good. And again, imagine that there's a stringy touch to the top of your head. It's really just really pulling you up nice and tall. Good, that blinking your eyes gently open again. And then from here, inhaling both arms over your head, again stretching through the front of your body, maybe looking at, the, at your fingers, and then on your exhale, folding over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, so you've got different options. So you can be on your fingertips, you can have your hands or the palms on your shins or on your thighs. Making sure that your shoulders are away from your ears, no matter where you are, and that your chest is really pushed out so that your back is nice and straight. So there is no right or wrong. Just make sure I'd rather you come up than sort of trying to reach down. So if it's the first time you're doing this, the likelihood that you can do this with a nice straight back is probably not high. So just bring your hands, your palms onto your shins or onto your thighs. Good, so shoulders away, pushing your chest out, long back, long spine and neck. Good, and on your exhale, bending through your knees, planting your hands onto the mat, so you're almost squatting here, and then stepping the right foot back. Good, and stay here, and bring your right hand either directly underneath your right shoulder or slightly in front of it, pushing through that right heel, inhaling your left arm up to the ceiling for a twist. 
Good. Just really pushing the right away. So making sure you're not sinking down. Just really lots of space here. Good. And then on your exhale, bring that left hand down, framing the front foot. And then stepping the left foot back, coming into your high plank. Good. From here, dropping onto your knees. And then hugging your elbows in. So rather than going up to the side, just hug them in to the sides and lower yourself all the way down onto the mat. Good. Releasing through the feet. And then inhale, riding your shoulders back and looking forward just a little bit so you have a little bit of a back bend. And on your exhale, tucking your toes under and then pushing your hips up high to the ceiling into your downward facing dog again. Good. Maybe walking your feet in slightly. So walk your feet in rather than your hands. Making sure your feet are hip distance apart. Again, really grounding through your hands. If you feel like you're sliding on your mat, try and ground down with your thumb and your index finger. That tends to help if you feel like you're sliding. Again, I invite you to do any movements here that feel good. Pedaling through the feet, moving around, whatever feels good. Good, just one more breath here. Good, and walking or stepping to the top of the mat. Again, folding over your legs. Your feet can be together or hip distance apart, it doesn't matter. And inhale, halfway lift, long spine and neck. Again, bring your hands, the palms onto your shin, onto your thigh, wherever feels good. And on your exhale, folding over your legs. And then inhale, coming up to a standing position, both arms over your head. And exhaling your hands back down to your sides again. Good, let's do this with the other side. Inhaling both arms over your head, really stretching, maybe looking at your fingers. On your exhale, folding over your legs. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Making sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Long spine and neck. And then on your next exhale, bending through your knees, planting your hands, and this time stepping the left foot to the back of the mat. Good. With your left hand, bring it either directly underneath your left shoulder or slightly in front. And then inhaling your right arm up to the ceiling. Again, really stretching it up. Good. Just, walk, just pushing through your heels. And then on your next exhale, bring that right hand down, framing the front foot. And stepping the right foot back, coming into your plank. Really pushing through your heels, dropping onto your knees. And again, from here, hugging your elbows into the side. Lower all the way down. Good, releasing through your feet. Inhale, bring your shoulders back, looking forward. Good, and on your exhale, tucking your toes, pushing your hips up high to the ceiling into your downward facing dog. Good, again, walking your feet in a little bit. Hips nice and high to the ceiling. Good. Doing any movements that feel good here for you. As I said, you know, sometimes all you need is just being in a little, little bit of stillness, which is really quite nice. And then on your next exhale, either stepping or walking to the top of the mat, folding over your legs. Again, inhale, halfway lift, long spine and neck. Exhale, folding over your legs. And then inhale, coming up to a standing position, both arms over your head. And exhaling your hands back down to your sides again. Good. So from here, stepping the left foot to the back of your mat. So keeping the right foot pointing to the front. And then bring the left, the outside of the left foot in line with the back of the mat. So, making sure that you're not locking your knees here, it's really important. And then bring your, align your feet either heel to heel or heel to arch, whatever is more comfortable. There is not really, you know, whatever works for you at the end of the day. So, then once you're there, so your stance, you, you will find out in a moment, um, you might have to push, um, bring one foot out further, but 
if you'll work that out in a moment. So from here, to come into our warrior two, just bend through your right knee until your right knee is directly over your right ankle. So either it's directly over your right ankle or slightly behind it. What we don't want is the right knee over your right ankle because you will, you will hurt yourself. Good. So bring your right knee directly over your right ankle and push that right knee out to the right so you can see the first couple of your toes without leaning forward, so just you know, keep your upper body nice and low. Push that right knee out. Good. And then with the outside of the left foot, push that, really push through that, and that gives you a little bit of stability as well. Good. So this might be quite a workout for your legs here. We've never done this before. So if, you, if it's a little bit too much, just straighten a little bit through your right leg. Not too much though. So again, we don't want any locking, so at least have a little bend. Good, then from here, inhaling both arms parallel to the mat, bringing your shoulders down, and then making sure that your left hand and your left arm is in line with the right. So we don't want it up here, we don't want it down here, we're pretty much in line. And then looking over your right index finger or your right middle finger. Good, you might start feeling the burn a little bit. So make sure that you keep pushing that right knee out to the right. Now bring that left hand probably a little bit further up. Tends to sink down after a while, so keep it nice and strong here. Good, just one more breath. Good, then keeping your arms where they are, extending through that right leg. Tuck, bring the outside of the right foot in line with the front of the mat. Now bring that, right, that left foot out to the back. So we're just reversing our warrior now. Good, again, just some nice arm workout as well. Obviously, if you want to, you can just release your arms down. Try and keep it up. Good, so then once you've, your feet are either heel to heel or heel to arch line, bend through your left knee and then push your left knee out to, this, to the left. So again, you can see the first couple of your toes. Push through the outside of your right foot, shoulders away from your ears. Good. And again, looking over your left either index or middle finger into the distance. Again, I'm just being aware of your right arm and what your right arm has done. Are you still in line? Good. Just a couple more breaths here, you're nearly done. Good, and then on your exhale, just releasing your arms down, just keeping your legs as they are. Good, so if you don't do a lot of, if you don't do any workouts, this might be quite a lot for your arms, 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 shoulders. Good, then extending through that left leg and bring that left foot in so that the left, the outside of the left foot is in line with the mat. Good, so you've got both the right foot and the left foot, the outside's in line with the front and the back. Then slightly pigeon toe your feet in, so slightly bring them in, and really push through the outside of your feet. Good, then interlacing your hands behind your back. Inhale, sliding your hands down, opening through the front of your body, maybe looking up to the ceiling. And then on your exhale, start folding over your legs. So just let gravity do its thing here. Bring your hands towards the ceiling. And depending where you are, just bring your uh, hands over your head. Obviously, I'm not saying bring your hands over your head right now, but you know, the further you go, or the, the more often you practice, the further you go. This is a practice for a reason. So just bring your hands towards the ceiling as far as it feels comfortable. And if you're there, once you're there, just bring your hands further down towards, towards the floor again. Good, just one more breath. Good, and on your exhale, coming back up to a standing position again. Good, releasing your hands. Just again, just taking a moment, letting your blood flow back down. And then once you're ready, just taking your time here, 
Just tiptoe your feet together again. I guess you could have jumped as well if you wanted to. Good, then from here, bring one leg in front of the other. Doesn't matter which one. And then come onto the outside of your feet so they are both going in. Good, and then without your hands, start sitting down. So you've got gravity on your side here. So without any hands, just lower yourself down and try to do this as gracefully as you maybe want to do it. Good, then from here, extending your legs out in front of you. Get really grounding through your sitting bones. Again, pulling your navel to your spine and up. Good, 10 toes pointing to the ceiling. Inhaling both arms over your head, shoulders down. And then on your exhale, start folding over your legs with a straight back. So it doesn't matter how far you go. Once you've met your match, just release your hands down onto the mat, onto your legs, toes, wherever you are. The, the aim here is that your back is really nice and straight. So we don't want you to round over the back. We want it nice and straight. So keep pushing your upper body out. And then just fold over for as long as it feels comfortable. And then once you're there, start just releasing your hands down. Make sure you keep pushing through your heels, long neck here. Keeping your core engaged, and if you do that, you, if you want to, you can, with your exhale, just go a little bit deeper, but you have to have the core engaged for that. So if you want to go with every exhale deeper, you can just walk your hands down. So again, don't use your strength in your arms. Just let it come again from your breathing and your core here. Good, just a couple more breaths. Maybe closing your eyes. Good. And on your next exhale, slowly coming back up again. And bringing the soles off the feet onto the mat. Good. So I'm actually going to turn around to face you so you can actually see what I'm doing. So bring the soles together, knees out to the side. So in this pose, it's really important that you don't, so if you're feeling any sort of twisting feeling in your knees, come out of it. Maybe extend through, through your legs and go into the pose again. But just make sure that you're not ignoring it when if you have a twisting feeling. If you don't have a twisting, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you won't have a twisting feeling. Yeah, twisting feeling in your knee. Good, now from here, you've got different options. Um, I'll tell you in a moment as well which one I would recommend. So the different options are you can hold on to your knees, to the arches of your feet or onto your toes. So if this is the first time you're doing it, just holding on to your knees, to your knees, to your ankles here. And inhale, just opening up through the front of your body again, just bring your shoulders back. And you can stay here. That's absolutely fine. If you want to do a little bit more, Again, engage through your core, pull your navel in and up, and then on your next exhale, with a straight back, just folding over here. Again, just making sure that your back is nice and straight. And see how far you can go. Keeping your head in line with your spine. Maybe closing your eyes. And just really feeling your way into the pose. Good, just a couple more breath here. And then on your next exhale, slowly coming up again, walking your hands up. Good, and then you stay where you are, I'm just gonna turn around. Make sure that you're at the top of your mat. So if you're sort of in the middle, just scoop down a little bit. And then keeping the soles of the feet together as they are, bring your hands behind your back and coming down onto your back. So coming into our Supta Baddha Konasana. So from here then, bring the soles off the feet onto the mat, knees pointing up to the ceiling. Good, making sure your shoulders are away from your ears. And inhaling your right leg up to the ceiling. 
Good, point and flex through your right foot here. And circling into one direction and the opposite direction. Good, and crossing the right ankle on top of the left knee, right knee out to the side. And then start hugging your left knee into your chest. So you can hold on underneath the knee or on top of the knee to so see where you are. Again, just making sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Maybe closing your eyes. And directing your breath to any tight spots there may be. Just for a few more breaths. Good, and on your next exhale, slowly releasing the sole off the left foot onto the mat. Untangling your legs and bring the sole off the right foot onto the mat as well. Good, then from here, inhaling your left leg up to the ceiling. Again, point and flex through the foot, circling it one way, and the other way. Good, then crossing the right, no, sorry, not the right, the left ankle on top of the right knee, Left knee goes up to the side and hugging your right knee into your chest here. Good, again, you can hold on underneath the knee or on top of the knee, whatever feels more comfortable. Again, just breathing into any tight spots there may be, shoulders away from your ears. You can maybe close your eyes. Good, just one more breath. And then on your next exhale, just untangling your legs and having both knees into your chest and just rocking from side to side here, just massaging your lower back. Good. And from here, start extending your legs away from you. Bring the feet apart as much as it feels comfortable and bring your hands down by your side. The palms can be either facing up or down, no matter it, depending on what you need. So if your palms facing down, you're more grounding down. If your palms facing up, you're more in a receding position. Making sure your shoulders are away from your ears. And just really relaxing into the mat here for our Shavasana. Letting the practice set it in your body. Making sure you're as comfortable as you can be. If you're not comfortable, just adjusting yourself until you're comfortable. And just laying here for a few minutes. And then slowly deepening your breath. Bring your awareness and your attention back into the room. And back into your body. And start bringing some movement back. Maybe wiggling your toes, your fingers. Anything that feels good. And then keeping your eyes closed, rolling over onto your right hand side, 
maybe making a little pillow with your right arm and just taking a moment here just to let all of your senses come back into your body. And then once you're ready, just taking your time here for as long as you need, keeping your eyes closed and then coming back up to a comfortable seat position. Again, it doesn't matter what it looks like to you, just making sure you're nice and comfortable, having your eyes closed. And then bring your head over, yeah, your head over your heart, heart over your pelvis. Shoulders away from your ears again. Your hands can just rest wherever they fall for a moment. Tucking your chin in a little bit, lengthening through the back of your neck. Coming back to your breathing. Good, then bring in the palms together in your heart center, elbows go out to the sides. And then bowing our heads down, sealing our practice today. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you very much everyone for joining today's um, beginner's practice. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought. Um, I've currently got a poll open on my Facebook page in the group actually and um, what we're going to be doing next week. So if you want to have any requests just let me know either pop into Facebook or just leave it in the comments here and um, I will film that in the next few weeks. So for the moment though thank you very much until next time. Namaste.